Hi, right, in this video I'm going to cover expected monetary value. Now it takes this concept from the expected value and that is defined as the return you can expect from some action. Or if you put money in the game, you make it real, the expected monetary value is how much money you can expect to make or lose from a decision. Now the most common types you'll see are simple events or multiple outcomes of an event. And basically, the formula that is used for the expected value is the probability of some outcome times the number of times the event is happening. Now, with the simple event, there's only two outcomes, like a success or a failure. Uh, and the formula changes a bit. It doesn't really change too much, but basically we have the probability of x, which is probability of the x, uh, multiplied by capital X, which is the number of trials. So for multiple outcomes, it's the same thing, but since there are multiple trials, we're, we're basically summing up the products of those uh, trials. And I spelled products wrong here. Let's delete that U there. So what are some examples? Well, let's go to this coin toss example. Now, we may have a coin toss, and this is a fair coin. We've got a heads and we've got a tails. And we want to toss the coin five times, and the probability, of course, of getting either heads or tails, in this case, we're going to say heads, is 50%, right? Our expected value is 2.5 because we are tossing it five times. The expected probability of getting a heads is one out of two, right? One half, which is 0.5. So we multiply the probability of getting heads times the amount, uh, the number of trials, and you get 2.5. Well, that doesn't really mean too much in the real world when you think about it. So let's go to our die toss, and we're talking about the expected monetary value. Let's say that you are betting on a die toss, and you're betting that uh, it's going to come up to a six. Let me find my six here. Right. Now, you're, putting, you're going to put in 10 bucks, and if you get a six, you're going to get 10 bucks back, so you're even money. And the probability of getting that six is one out of six, right? Because there's only one. There's six sides, and the six only shows up on one side. So the probability of that is 1.67. The probability of not getting a six, you get you put in ten bucks, and you're not, and you bet on six, but you don't get a six. Of course, you're gonna lose ten bucks. The probability of that is five divided by six. There's five other sides, and you would have uh, that particular uh, value, the expected value. So for the multiple, right, when we have multiple outcomes, what we're going to do is sum the products. So we have our two products here, and we're going to sum it using the sum function. Press tab. And our expected monetary value is negative 6.7. So basically, when you think about it, negative $6.7. And of course, instead of doing the uh, doing all of this calculations and having the sum function added, you can always just use the sum product function to do that. So sum product, my first array is this, comma, my second array is that, press enter, and we're going to come up with the same value as that. Right? So that's going to be a second example of uh, EMV, expected monetary value, if you're a betting person. Now, if you're a project manager, this probably become really relevant. And it's relevant because as a project manager, you may be th thinking about risk and you have a set of risk on your project and you kind of know subjectively <laughs> what are the probabilities of this risk happening and you have uh, determined a value on those risks. You may think that these risks are going to happen and I need to have some monies in my budget to aligned to these risks, right? So you may think, oh, I'm just going to sum up all of these. Whoops. Let me open parentheses. I'm going to sum up all of these, close parentheses, and I need to have uh, about $7,500 in my project, in my budget, to uh, mitigate these risks or pay for these potential risks. But that's probably not correct because there are probabilities that that occur. So what we need to do is get the expected value of that. That multiply by, well, let's do the use the product function. And we'll do use that to multiply our two values. Product and these two values, press enter. That's negative 200. 
and if I total all this, I could have used some product function here. If I total all this, that gives me my expected monetary value. So in reality, because we have our probabilities here, and this is kind of, kind of becomes a weighted average when you think about it, our expected monetary value is 1500. So instead of thinking maybe we need to set aside 7500 in our project to mitigate these risks, we may only need about 1500 be based on the probabilities of those risk happening. So that's another example of how we can use the expected monetary value to kind of figure out some calculations for us if we're doing a project. So this one may be very applicable if you're a project manager and trying to do some cost analysis, risk analysis. This one, if you're a betting man and you like to find out if you should bet on something, Incidentally, if you were to get something like, I don't know, maybe $60 back, you would actually probably make this bet because the expected monetary value is going to be $1.67. So that is actually probably a decent bet when you think about it. So that can be used if you're a gambling person, right? So that's our little brief introduction on expected monetary value. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.